Hey y'all, CB here at NBS Welding. My buddy uh, just hollered at me from up at the bike shop. Uh, he's up there working on dirt bikes like he always is. And uh, he's got something for us, so let's check it out. Alright y'all, what we got here is a stainless steel sleeve that operates as a cover on a shock. A very big, very complicated shock. As you can see from the slits and the marks on this piece of stainless steel, my buddy had to work his butt off to get this thing off. Uh, he said it was completely jam-packed, full of mud, and he had to cut slits in it to be able to get it off there. And you might think, well, why would you try to fix this? It's just a piece of stainless pipe. Well, no, it's not. It's actually got some very particularly machined grooves in it and that's part of the the band that slides inside of this part that holds it in place and the way that that groove is machined in it and the way that the end is machined is actually critical to its operation uh could you get one of these well we don't know but here's what we do know it's two o'clock on a Saturday and my buddy needs this thing um, uh, moving along. So it's one of those deals where if I can weld this up with stainless uh, and, and he can grind it to the shape he wants it, that's what we're going to do. And the first part of this has to do with getting something that'll fit inside of it like this two inch schedule 40 pipe I've got. And cleaning it up so there's no contaminants on it that's going to affect the job. And the reason for this pipe sleeve is I've got to have something inside of this thing to make sure that it doesn't get any smaller when I weld it. And when you weld on a slit like that, you can almost guarantee it's going to try to get smaller. He slid that over the shock when I was in his shop with him, and it's tight. If anything, we want it to get bigger, not smaller. It actually wouldn't hurt it if it got a little bigger. Now, what I'm doing right here is I've got a piece of 1 16th inch stainless steel TIG rod. I'm going to tack it with the TIG. Uh, I've got the Arc Captain TIG 200P set on DC TIG with a sharp uh, 332 tungsten and argon gas. And I just tacked that 1 16th inch TIG rod onto my 2 inch pipe. And the next part of this deal is I'm taking that 1 16th inch TIG rod and I'm wrapping it around that pipe. This would be something that I'm putting on this pipe to try to make it just a little bit bigger than what it is. In a way that I have a little bit of control. So the, the next part of, of this is getting some clamps on that that rod to hold it and then i'll put another tack on it to to generally hold it in place now the deal is here uh it, it wouldn't take much force to rip it off oh forgive me for a second i gotta throw this in guys uh we got t-shirts for sale and if you could support the nbs welding youtube channel by purchasing a t-shirt that would be great they're 25 dollars plus shipping and handling. If you're interested in a t-shirt, send Tina an email at nbswelding at aol.com, an email request, and she'll get back to you about the t-shirt. Also, please remember, if you're buying anything from Amazon or any Art Captain products, you can help me out a bunch by going to the description of my videos and using either my Art Captain link or my Amazon link to uh, help support the channel by using my links. And if you buy something from our captain, use my promo code NBSWelding5%. You'll get 5% off, and then our captain will know you got there because of me. So uh, thanks for letting me do that little plug there. And we're back to work. We were, I put that sleeve uh, over my pipe, and I jammed in the 1 16th inch TIG rod so that that TIG rod is in there as an expander to hold that open a little bit. Then I took my cutting wheels and I cut a couple grooves in where the slots were. Then I took me a, a plate cap and welded on the end. Well, right here's the reason for all that. Uh, I've got to gas purge the inside of this stainless steel. 
So I had to put a plate cap on the end of the pipe and it helped also to cut some slots right where his uh, slots are that I'm going to be welding up because that's going to let that argon gas flow right up in behind where I'm welding. Uh, one of them fit tight enough. I could just go across welding it. The one that was cut much farther seemed to have opened up enough. I actually jammed a, a little bit of a one eighth inch TIG, stainless TIG rod in there to help fill it. But uh, on both sides, I was able to TIG it shut with uh, a full penetration TIG weld. And that's mostly what I was focusing on during the welding. Uh, I didn't make a really pretty weld or, or pay much attention to how the ripples landed. Actually, I could have went over it again and made it look better. But here's the thing. This is all going to get grinded off. So we're a little more concerned with penetration than than appearance because no matter how pretty you made the ripples or how even your your exterior bead is uh my body's going to grind it off there and try to make it look like it was never there so penetration here is the key and uh my body being a master engine builder like he is uh as far as like grinding and shaping he's really good with stuff like that and and when i do this welding stuff for him he usually tells me he's going to shape it. I don't need to be sanding on it or whatever. Uh, he wants to do that, and he's got all the tools to do it, obviously. I mean, he he does machining on on, on cylinders and, and, and grinding on cylinder heads and all sorts of stuff as an engine builder. So the next part of this for me is getting that mild steel pipe out of there without doing any unneeded damage to my stainless sleeve. And I decided to do that by taking an oxyacetylene torch with a straight-headed scarf and tip and cutting a little bit of steel out. Uh, and then I cooled it with water to shrink it. And then I, you can see I clamped that sleeve to the table and just kind of tickety-tapped on it there until she come loose. And then I used the pipe as I rolled it around, hammered it a little bit where it was a little bit misshapen. But as far as the grinding and whatnot, I'm leaving that up to him. And you can see like here on the end, I've got some piled up stainless. Um, I was trying to just give him some metal to grind. You know, you don't, you want, you want some, some meat on there. You know, if you're going to grind this off, grind it away. Uh, my main concern was that it was full. Uh, and I know that he's going to be able to do that. And I also feel very confident that I've made the sleeve bigger instead of smaller so i want to thank y'all for watching and y'all remember learn how to work with what you got that way you always have everything you need